Hi guys, I'm Vahe. I'm the founder of Stable Digital Publishing. I'm speaking on the Prosperity Show today about how to move, um, move the needle with your own digital agency and some tactics you can use. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Prosperity Online TV show. And today we've got none other than Vahe. Vahe, how are you doing today? Good, thanks. Thank you for inviting me. Very well, thanks. Now, Vahe owns and operates what he has established as the state of digital publishing. His mission is to become a platform, not exactly a community, but they will be teaching others finding industry-specific opportunities, collaboration, and career case studies, and a whole lot more. This will be engineered to develop your own objectives and measures for success. Now, Vaya, if I say that correctly? Yeah, but yes, that's correct, but more targeting digital media and publishing professionals, because I found that you know a lot of people are trying to develop branded content and also trying to develop their own audiences, but some, of them, some people might be falling down on that, so my mission is just to help those out there who want to better develop their own audiences through brand content. Now, brand content, can you really explain what that concept is all about? Uh, brand content is just pretty much, you've got a, a story, you've got um, a topic that you want to speak about and speak about it in authority, in, in authority or in however style you want to portray that and effectively reaching out to someone, is reaching out to your audience and effectively doing that through, you know, the, creating the best content, uh, promoting and distributing that content in a meaningful manner. So, branded content is is your own. It's pretty much your own content that you own, but you're, it's a com talking about a common topic or theme that people are aware across, and and you're trying to get exposure for that or trying to get awareness for that. Great. So, as a digital marketer, how does somebody become a strategist like yourself with the brand content? How how how? Where does the inspiration come from? So, my inspiration came from when I was back at university. Uh, seven eight years ago, there was a, I was in an internship working for a, a publisher. They're pretty big now, um, and I saw that you know through SEO, through or, like organic means, earned media, they they were able to develop their um, website and able to monetize from that. So that's why I started to go in SEO initially and and explore the opportunities from there. And then now I've, I've sort of taken a step back and decided I wanted to just take that more broader approach in helping other people grow their websites, grow their audiences, yeah, for, through earned media. Great stuff. I mean, the whole purpose of helping other people is also the premise of what we are trying to do here with the Online Prosperity Show. We're helping um, individuals, especially uh, digital entrepreneurs, to actually start, grow, and scale their own digital marketing agency. And I understand you have one yourself. Tell us the first year of what, what, what sort of things were you doing in the first year that has then now made you grow into what you are now, the state of uh, digital consultancy? Digital, state of digital publishing is still fairly new, so I wouldn't say that we're up there yet, but what's really helping me at the moment is building uh, partnerships. Right. So helping partnerships across, you know, um, indirect competitors which have the same, in the, uh, people who are targeting the same audience, but not direct competitors. So a mutually beneficial relationship where someone like myself, I'm, my mastering my might be in providing them knowledge or content in a specific area and they and then they have the platform for example like an event company who might be delivering that through uh, regular events and courses and just trying to contribute to that so i found that so far by developing relationships through referrals is a great way to to get um brand awareness and you know get your name out there for people who who, who you know like for like myself especially i'm not good at direct cold outreach or you know sales so um i found that 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 way was a meaningful way and then from there hopefully i look to potentially meet the direct people and audience directly and from there develop relationships with them which would then help me to then you know maybe they potentially become my client or you know that way as well so just through indirect methods referrals will help me then eventually become get more direct clients i think that, that's the main advice i'd like to give great stuff well yeah like you say a lot of people are afraid of picking up the phone and calling other people because they will be slammed with the no and things like that. Now, with what you're doing, this is new territory, even for experienced digital marketers. This is something new. Um, have you got a mentor that's leading you through the way or are you actually just going in and testing what's working and going at it like that? From the business, business side of things, I have 
I, I, I reach out to various people and ask their feedback. Right. Um, and even even for myself, I because my concept, I'm trying to refine the concept a bit more as well. I, I look towards getting accelerated, uh, approaching accelerators, uh, so venture capital accelerators where they can help me more refine that. But um, with my set of digital publishing website, I'm really in terms of trying to get engagement from the from my audience directly. It's really about trial and error. So I think definitely the advice is business from the business side get mentorship and advice, but in terms of the direct product that you're trying to offer get be hands on and really try and test it out and make it work. Cause at the end of the day, you're, you're, you're representing that you're, you're going to be delivering that. And that's you, you're going to be the one who knows the best of, of that um, in comparison to everyone else. Great stuff. Yes. The more you know your product, the easier it becomes to sell. And also it then takes away the barrier like you're, you're saying. So obviously with what you're doing, looking for referrals and connecting with all these people, is there any specific resources that, um, helps you to stay on top of things like you know do you have any specific applications that you might use or tools that you use to keep yourself um, you know organized because there's a lot to to be juggling around for just um, one person there no problem in, especially in digital market I think what helps is uh, curation so definitely in terms of feeding your news and insights having like a curation software, like maybe you might have people who are on a very, uh, on a low end budget, having Feedly, or maybe someone who, you know, who's working already more established, having something like Curata. Um, the difference is that with Feedly, you can just pretty much read that and consume that information. But if you want to um, start with actually publishing your own content and putting your own insights on what's already out there, then you can use something like Curata because it already automatically publishes on your website and you can just put your own spin onto it as well. So. Um, that's the main thing. And then really I look at using Zapier and everything else, try to automate basic communication and um, just time management and, and administration things, which which I don't want to be spending as much time on and want to be more focusing on the product. All right. So in, in all those things, um, does any of your work get outsourced? Uh, no, there's some of the content, content publishing, some of the content in terms of the news. Um, I did just the general news updates. I outsourced that, and but everything else at the moment, it's it's all done in house. All the creative, all the interviews, all the uh, big opinion pieces. I focus on that myself, and all the promotion of the website, I, I I do myself. I handle myself. What sort of advice would you give somebody who's watching right now, and they want to be in your position as a digital marketer? Uh, but now that you've mentioned there's a lot of work to do, there's, there's so many things that they need to put together. They have to call if they have to and refer other people. That might scare uh, somebody who's watching right now. But what sort of words can you give them so that they continue with uh, their mission to actually start scaling and grow their own digital marketing agency? The first thing and the key word that you mentioned is fear, right? So you've just got to remove that fear entirely because at the moment, for me, even for me, I'm still, it's not clear 100%, not, not 100% clear to where I'm going, but um, you know, it's, with, every, with startups, it's always gonna vary your day. So you can't rely on um, something which is set, set, set in stone and, and trying to do that. So you have to be flexible. So um, in order to help you know, get more successful, I think just remove that fear. And then the second thing from that is really focus on um, just try to speak with people. The more you speak with people and understand what the pain points are, you are more comfortable in realizing, you know, potentially where you need to focus on in your business. Is it the skill gap? Is it, you know, maybe it's my process and then you would be able to prioritize from that and determine your plan moving forward. So right. uh, once, once you're comfortable with what you want to present, the, the product or service you want to present and how you're going to do it effectively, that's when you can easily, more easily um, prioritize what you need to do. If I had, that is so profound and thank you so much for that. Now, Obviously, um, you are in business and your platform is going to be teaching you, especially the viewers that are watching right now. Is there any special resources that they can come and pick up from your website or anything that they can learn from you through maybe your blog or something like that? In terms of the resources, uh, please check out, like uh, we've recently published the 2017 Trends piece, which has featured um, leading publishers from Australian Based companies like BNT and um, Finder.com and everything else, and they provide insights in terms of what priorities they're focusing on to develop their audiences and channels. Right. So you can get some insights from that and apply that for your business in terms of your own digital marketing efforts. 
because I think the way that digital marketers are going is they have to think more like a publisher. They need to connect with the audience, so they need to produce content. So that naturally, if you have a publisher mindset, then that will help you do that. Um, that's resources in there. And then generally speaking, um, any any news, just stay on top of news and inside um, news, and then try to just provide. Um, sorry, just stay on top of the news, and then really, uh, for whoever you're speaking with, your prospective customers, just try to demonstrate your knowledge and, and expertise in that. So. That's the main thing. And then, so in terms of back to my website, news and pretty much that feature, I think if you refer to those, you, I think you'll get some good insights from the website. Great stuff. So obviously, uh, we will have that in the show notes at the bottom. If um, you really want to check out what Vahe is doing and amazing work. And also, don't forget to pick your copy of the 20 steps to starting your own six-figure digital marketing agency. We'll also put the link for that at the bottom. But Vahe, You've been amazing, sir, and thank you so much for your time. Thank you as well. It's really good to speak with you, Prosper. Hopefully, 2017 is looking amazing, like you are and your business right now. I like to be Prosper. I'm, you're lucky to have your name because we hope if we have your name, everyone will prosper. So, <laughs> yeah. thank you so much. All right, till next time. Thank you so much, Vine.